<clears throat> hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. Hello, YouTube. However you're catching me. Totally appreciate it. Um, really appreciate it. Um, this is Marcus from Aroma Time Bistro. And I wanted to talk today. I spoke to, the other day I did a, a little um, thing on vodka or um, on whiskey. I did a little whiskey guide uh, talking about um, that a lot of whiskey comes from this company called Midwest Grain Products and uh, called MGP and that most um, whiskeys in the U.S., not most, but a lot of them are like made from the same exact, same exact recipe, same exact recipe, the same producer, and then people just actually buy the barrels and then bring them to their to their facility and then they age them to their specs and cut them with their water like Widow Jane did, was doing um, all from Indiana, these products, Angels Envy, Widow Jane, um, a lot of, um, a lot of really big brands do that. Bullet Rye, um, this is the way things were uh, done. Uh, MGP, Midwestern Green Products, makes it super easy for companies to do that. So now, here's the deal with Tito's Vodka. I mentioned Tito's Vodka does the same thing um, with their vodka. And so, of course, I did this, I literally just did like, like two days ago, or yeah, two days ago, I think I did this. So literally, up on my feed today on Facebook, up pops this article, the truth about Tito's and all vodka. All right, the two, truth about Tito's and all vodka. Um, as reported uh, this week in Ad Age, uh, I don't know when this is from. Oh, this is from uh, a year or so ago. Yeah. Uh, Tito's Vodka is now the top selling distilled spirit brand in the United States, a position previously held by Smirnoff Vodka for seemingly forever. Ad Age calls it. Tito's handmade vodka is a pioneer of the so called craft spirit movement. So called. The so-called, um, the so-called, is only uh, is the only clue to what is really going on there. Tito's currently is advertising um, their American's original craft vodka. The product's success has made owners of Tito's beverage a billionaire. It brings him a another quotation from quote: uh, "No one ever went broke underestimating the intelligence of the American public." Okay, Tito has cleverly exploited a few simple facts. First, Texas, Texans, non-Texans love anything from Texas. Austin being the capital uh, is beloved haven uh, of, so people just love stuff from Texas, especially from Austin. I've been to Austin, Austin's a really hip place. A lot of great beer bars, a lot of great music venues. Really, really cool Austin. Um, and the weather there's pretty awesome in Austin. So um, second, Words such as handmade and craft don't mean what you think they mean. In fact, according to most court rulings on the matter, they don't mean a single thing. So the court systems saying craft, um, the word craft means nothing when it comes to craft beverages. Um, my place going the article here there. I was trying to mean anything. Um, or handmade. Handmade doesn't mean anything. Handmade doesn't mean a single thing. Uh, so craft and handmade. So um, the page, the front page of Tito's website says, Texas and vodka, when you put the two together, you get something oh so wonderful. We make it in batches, use old-fashioned pot stills, and taste every batch to make sure you get the best. All right? So this is Tito's website. Um, so now Forbes wrote this. This is 2018, Tito's website said so this. Forbes wrote in 2013 about Tito's. Sometimes reality bites that proving to be a challenge for fifth generation maker of Tito's vodka, more precisely, how to maintain the fiction of being a small batch brand that's actually expanding rapidly into a $5.5 billion US market um, of the colorless liqueur section, liquor section, colorless liquor. Tito's has explo exploded from a 16-gallon pot still in 1997 to a 26-acre operation that produces that produced 850,000 cases a year, up from 46% from 2011, pulling in an estimated $85 million in revenue. In 2017, you may adjust all those numbers substantially upward to $190 million in annual revenue. All right, so... This is going to get good now. Um, vodka drinkers, of course, are accustomed to fancy or fantasy. Vodka is, by definition, colorless, odorless, and tasteless. 
virtually all of the vodka made in the U.S., virtually all of the vodka made in the U.S., including Tito's and Smirnoff, starts out as a neutral grain spirit or grain neutral spirit, GNS, manufactured by one of the major producers, Archer Daniels Midland, ADM, Midwest Grain Products, MGP, or Grain Processing Corporation, GPC. So three companies produce probably most of the vodka in the U.S., all right? So Archer Daniels Midland, Midwest Grain Products and Grain Processing Corporation, whose headquarters are principal distillers in Illinois, Kansas, Iowa, respectively, where most grain is farmed, all right? Neutral grain spirits is a commodity. Neutral grain, that means tubs, tractor trailer loads, of this neutral grain spirit, this alcohol is a commodity. It is used for beverages, medicine, and other many purposes. It is simply ethanol, mostly made from corn. It's distilled above 95% uh, ABV. It is also nearly pure alcohol and can be made uh, as can be as can be made. So it's pure alcohol as can be made. As a commodity, vodka producers buy it on a basis of price and availability. Vodka producers buy this based on price and availability vodka producers okay all right um, most uh buy from the usual three suspects most vodka producers buy from the usual some vodka makers simply take neutral grain spirit they buy and put it directly into bottles some vodka menu makers some vodka makers like these brands folks you're going out there to buy vodka they're buying it simply from mgp archer daniels midland um, or GPC, they're buying in huge, massive vats, already distilled. They take their product and stick it into their bottle, slap their label on it, and send it out, okay? Um, this is what some people do, some people. Hello to everybody watching, by the way, whatever live channel you're on right now, I appreciate it. I've um, got several on Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, so hello, David, hello, Ralph. Um, see a bunch of people on. So thank you if you're watching this live. If you're um, watching it live, just drop a comment of where you're tuning in from. Um, we're talking about uh, Tito's Vodka. Um, let's see, where did my page go? I have so many pages that are open. Um, might as well start with closing some pages here um, to see where this went. Oh boy, where did it go? Oh, back to, okay, okay. So we're talking about how Tito's Vodka claims they're handmade and then there's no court bearing for what handmade means or craft means. So some vodka makers simply just buy neutral grain spirits and buy it up in their bottle, okay? Um, it has little, okay. Um, Tito's runs, others do a little bit of additional processing. So they'll buy the bulk vodka, bulk neutral grain spirit, and do a little bit of extra processing. Tito's, Tito's runs it through some pot stills. So they take the product that's already made, neutral grain spirit, and they run it through their pot stills. The only um, purpose for that step is so they can make the claims about batch production. They can make small batch production. That's the reason why they do that. So the big um, Great Chill Noon Spirit makers are continuous stills, not batch. So continuous still, not batch. The Texas and Texas distillation um, production, it has little or no effect on the liquid. Charcoal filtering is another common practice. All right, so to sum that up, that um, to sum this up, Tito's Vodka, a lot of other brands are simply buying, buying neutral grain spirits from one of the three big guys, Archer Daniels Midland, Midwestern Grain Products, Grain Processing Corporation. They buy this bulk neutral grain spirit they bring it to their facility. Some of them put it straight into the bottle, don't alter it. Other places do alter it, enhance it, <coughs> flavor it, um, filter it. In Tito's case, the number one vodka in America, number one produced American vodka, Tito's case, they run it through their pot stills. Um, so then they can claim that it's small batch, supposedly, or handmade. They just claim that, so that that's what they do. They run it through their, their, they're taking, folks, they're taking, that's like taking wine, like buying wine that's already made. You're buying bulk wine, bulk cooking wine that's already made. You're buying it and you're throwing it in, in, in oak barrels for a week and then putting it into a bottle. And you're calling yourself the number one wine 
um, or you have this massive sales and wine where you can be considered the number one wine. You're not the winemaker. You're just the wine enhancer. You're just buying a commodity product and just doing something to it. That's literally what that's doing is buying wine that's already made, throwing it into a barrel, and then putting it into a bottle and slapping your logo on it and saying, yeah, I'm going to do $200 million in sales this year and become a billionaire from buying other people's stuff. And oh, by the way, this stuff is small batch made and it's handcrafted because somebody moved the barrel by hand. But this stuff was already made when it got into the facility, but we're making it. So we're everything has to be handcrafted in small batches. So we're putting everything into a barrel, seize the barrel for literally, for literally um, a week. And then we put it on our way. That's just, that's just equivalently what Tito's Vodka is doing, folks. That's what they're doing. So um, not surprisingly, Tito's does not give tours. Tito's does not give tours at a facility. That's because they have zero grain silos, no grain mills, no mash cookers, no fermenters, and no other trappings of a real scratch distillery. All right? They have nothing that will show you that they're a distillery when you walk into their facility besides a couple, some pot stills. And this is a massive facility. Folks, they're moving million, hundreds of millions of dollars of vodka through their facility a year. Hundreds and hundreds of millions, all right? So that's what Tito's Vodka is up to. We don't stock Tito's Vodka. Um, I, I We stopped talk, stocking it a while ago. Um, I believe it's misleading the handmade stuff and this and like that. Um, but, you know, a lot of vodkas fall into this. So a lot of vodkas, a lot of whiskeys fall into this. The simplest way of, of checking this out, I don't have any whiskey in my office here, but I'm just going to grab a bottle, um, grab a bottle of balsamic vinegar here. So if you were to look at a bottle of whiskey and you were to look at the back of it, it would simply say um, bottled by um, Paul Trinini. Okay, this is a balsamic producer. It say bottled by. It wouldn't say made by or distilled by. It would say bottled by. And then by law in New York, they actually have to put somewhere on that bottle product of Indiana that's coming from Midwest grain products. They'd actually have to put on there um, – did actually have to put on there um, product of Indiana. Um, and I know that um, um, folks up the road or supposedly up the road at uh, this uh, um, Widow Jade Mine lied about that in the beginning or misrepresented that in the beginning. They got in a little bit of trouble for that because they were buying barrels in and claiming it was a New York product and it wasn't. Um, so, folks, that's the deal with um, – that's the deal with um, with some of these. And like I said, a lot of stuff is made like that. There's a ton of stuff made like that. Most, like Aperol, Aperol, Campari, they buy neutral grain spirits. All the liqueurs, the cordials, things like that, they a lot of these, they just buy neutral grain spirits and then add the flavorings to it and, and do their touch. So it might not be 100% wrong, but that's just what I want you to know about what's going on. Tito's, in their case, tells you that they're, you know, handmade, um, handmade, craft, craft distilled, craft made. When they're, that's questionable. If you don't, if you're not making the claims, then there's nothing to get upset with because you know it's there. It's transparency. I show people. I say, here's our couple products that that are that do come from the whiskeys that come from from Midwestern grain products. Um, you know, there are there are a few in our portfolio that yeah, we they do come from there. And I did a video that they. Here's why I buy from buy from these these. And here's what they're doing, and here's what I like about them. Um, but that's typically a standard business model for this industry, uh, typically. So you and I can get in the whiskey business tomorrow and call MGP and order 10 barrels of already made rye, come up with a fancy name, slap our logo on it, put it out there. Um, as long as we're not deceiving the public and telling them that we're not doing something we're not doing, then that's that, that, there's nothing wrong with that, and that's the business model. So, And it goes well beyond whiskey and vodka, folks. Um, Tom left a message here. Um, company Wild Moon Liqueurs, thanks. Oh, hello from uh, Hartford Flavor Company. And Wild Moon Liqueurs, thanks for the support. Um, great to have a great one. Yeah. Um, Harvest Moon is really cool. They make some really cool uh, liqueurs that we have here. They have a cranberry, a chai. They make a bunch of stuff. Tom, if you could just drop a link on what um, you guys uh, or link to your website, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'd appreciate that. But yeah, folks, like if you go and buy something like Aperol, buy something like Aperol, Aperol is, I don't even know if Aperol is a neutral grain spirit. It might be wine-based. It might be wine-based. Um, but if you buy other types of products like that, they're neutral grain spirits with just the coloring, the flavor. Like, for example, Southern Comfort. 
Southern Comfort's not a whiskey. It's never been a whiskey. And it doesn't say whiskey on their bottle because it's not a whiskey. That is a neutral grain spirit with flavor enhancers is what Southern Comfort is, okay? People think they're drinking whiskey when they say, I want a Southern SoCo. SoCo is not whiskey. Amaretto. Amaretto is not, um, I'm sorry, Di Serrano. Di Serrano is not Amaretto, okay? Amaretto by law has to be made from, from almonds. Um, Di Serrano is not made from almonds. They're made from peach pits um, or apricot pits or something else like that. So um, buyer beware when you're looking through all that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> Di Serrano does not, does not mislead you. It doesn't say Amaretto on their bottle because by law they're not allowed to. They're regulated, and by law, they're not allowed to put something on there that they're not uh, when it comes to that specific thing. So, all right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, happy holidays to everybody. If you want to donate to our Christmas Day Soup Kitchen, head over to our website. There's a link there on our GoFundMe. Um, all that kind of stuff is there. We do that every year, 17 straight years. And uh, i got to get back to work here. We're roasting turkeys in the oven. Right now, we've been roasting turkey since 6 o'clock this morning. The last batch for the day is about to come out. And then we uh, break them down, slice them, cryer vac them, take all the bones, make stock. From stock, we make gravy, and we have this amazing turkey gravy. So, uh, all right, folks, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, my voice is getting better. Uh, better as uh, today's two weeks, by the way, that I lost my voice. Um, so, all right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later.